I had this video cooking for a while, but now the most recent Trash Taste episode gave me enough father to complete it. Hello everyone, Ren here, or Alias, and today I shall talk about why Joey the Anime Man was wrong about SAO. So, on the most recent Trash Taste episode, they discussed the Attack on Titan finale, and Joey didn't finish it, yet he gave his opinion. Can we trust a man that reviewed a series, but hasn't completed it? Not only that, he also said that it fell off on season 4 part 2, which is goddamn wild. That was where the story got the most interesting, We what one of the more famous scenes on the anime. And this brings me to my next point. SAO, the first two seasons, should be the very least an anime should be. Cause season 1, the first half is pretty good. <laughs> Alphim Online is kinda mid, and GGO is kinda mid, except Cena. Now you may say, 24 episodes of mid anime may be a little too much to ask for. After GGO and after the Scalibur arc, season 2 gets really good. And you know, Joey, the, the beta man, may say, is just too bad for too long, yet he says One Piece is good. Mid piece, as I call it. They're always like, just get to the Alabaster arc. That's when this show starts getting good. You know how long that is into One Piece? That's 92 episodes. That's nothing compared to like 24 you gotta slack through of okay episodes. You gotta slack through 92 episodes of Luffy being annoying as shit to get to Alabasta. I couldn't do it. That's why I dropped One Piece. That's why I dropped One Piece. Yet Joey couldn't do that to get to the glorious season 3. Now, there is a better way to watch SAO. You can watch the progressive movie, then watch all of SAO. Because by the time season 1 part 2 starts, with the incest is a wincest arc, Stockholm Syndrome should kick in. Now, you may say, okay, I also hate One Piece and I hate SAO. That's not a, that's not a good comparison. One Piece is, you know, an old school anime. What about Jojo? Jojo doesn't get good until like part 2 or 3. I couldn't get through part 1, yet Joey the anime man says Jojo is good. You also stalk home yourself, except you don't have good movies to fall upon that recall part 1 to bring in new viewers. Not enjoying SEO is like not enjoying a steak because it was chicken deep fried. Or well done. Of course you're not enjoying it, you're doing it wrong. What is wrong with you? Why would you do that to a steak? Yeah, SAO is a Gary Stu, technically, he's OP as shit, but you know what? He gets all the bitches with all the lack of personality, with minimal explanation. He even gets his own cousin to fall in love with him. So checkmate. You're not supposed to enjoy the first two seasons of SAO like you would enjoy something like Rising of the Shield Hero. You're supposed to just see how good Kirito is, then season 3 onwards, start criticizing it. Start, start being more smart about it, cause that's when the show gets, like, a substantial jump in quality. And you might say, oh, SEO has a lot of unnecessary scenes and unnecessary stuff, like the aforementioned incest arc, or that there's an SA scene in every season. <laughs> you can handle so much your teams, you snowflake. I'm sorry, we're ringing the bell, kitties out of the pool, it's time for the adults to enjoy the show. And not only that, he dropped the anime after season 2. He didn't even give season 3 a try, which is the biggest mistake he could have done. I don't think he even gave the movie, SEO Ordinal Scale, which is really good, a chance. That really nerfed Kirito down, that actually gave Kirito a struggle to have, and he kinda... They kind of montage his powers a little bit. You know, they were out of time for the movie, understandably. And then season 3 happens. It's one of the most amazing SEO moments of all time. And you go thinking, how could they ever top this off? And then you see it, SEO, War of Underworld. And it's, and it's even better. There's a fight there that got nominated for fight of the year. <laughs> But it had no chance, because I think it was a year All Might vs. All For One and, and Naruto and Sasuke vs. Momoshiki came out. So it had no chance to win. But it says something that an SEO fight was good enough to be nominated for Fight of the Year. 
it is action-packed, it has good character development, and it has a nice cast of characters. And it set up season 4 beautifully, which I am still waiting for. They knew they needed more viewers, so they made the progressive movies and then season 4. So unlike the shows that so unlike the shows that the wrong opinion man likes, like JoJo and One Piece, SEO is quite simple. Anybody can enjoy it. And one last final point to truly show you that you cannot trust the mid opinion man. He gave Naruto, original Naruto, a 6 out of 10, just to show how much mid piece has ruined his mind. This is truly a source that can be trusted. He gave your nice a 3 out of 10. And he said that Jujutsu Kaisen was just okay. How can we trust this man to give his opinions on the greatest show of all time? A show that you should watch in this order. Progressive Movies, SEO 1 and 2, Ordinal Scale, SEO 3, War of Underworld. And I hope this video opens your eyes up to the perfect way that SEO should be enjoyed. Brainless for two seasons, then brainful for the rest. Well, this has been all. This has been Ren, or Alias. Bye bye.